The four hour work week. So earlier this week, Brandon uh, Bornanson posited a question about the four hour work week and he basically said, the four hour work week's a farce. And what do you guys think? So I, I did respond on LinkedIn. This is kind of a follow up post to what I think about the four hour work week. I mean, other than the fact that I think it's bullshit, the four hour work week in a nutshell, for those of you who haven't read the book, uh, it's very popular. It was on New York Times bestseller list for like four straight years. I think it was published in 08 by a guy who graduated from Princeton. He was a tech entrepreneur and he decided he wanted to go live on the beach or something. So essentially what the book is, is all about how to automate yourself so that you can basically do everything you need to do in a week in four hours and then spend the rest of your time doing whatever you want. My personal opinion about the four hour work week is basically three things. Number one, if I'm able to automate my life to the point where I can do my job in four hours, then I should really spend the, the 164 hours that are remaining in the week sleeping and changing the world, right? Uh, I shouldn't spend that time on a beach. Right, so if I automate down to the point where I can get my work done in four hours, then eventually someone's gonna figure out that you're gaming the system and you're gonna lose your job. But that's the first thing. The, the, but the second thing is, is that we have a, a moral obligation to maximize the gifts that we were born with. And if we choose to waste our time spending our days on the beach and being a member of the new rich, well then, I mean, the truth is you're really just a piece of who's taking more out of life, more out of the world than you're putting into it. So that's the first thing. Second thing is the four hour work weeks for lazy people. The reality is, is that anything in life worth doing is worth doing as well as you humanly possibly can. And so if you're doing something that you feel you can automate down to four hours in a week, then you're doing something that's not worth doing, right? At that point, it's just a transaction. It's a, it's just a job. And then the third thing is our whole lives should be about moving the needle, okay? And if what we're striving to do is to do as little as humanly possible and get paid as much as we can for it, then we're definitely not moving the needle. And what we're doing is we're essentially resigning ourselves to our lives meaning nothing. And so anyone who advocates, I mean, when someone brings up the four hour work week to me and they hold it up as a, as a tome to strive for, the conversation with me ends at, at that moment, right then. So I'm glad that Brandon asked that question. I love Seamless.ai's LinkedIn page. I love their posts. I watch, I try to watch everything they do. They post a lot. It's, I'd spend a lot of my day watching seamless videos, but I do like a lot of the questions that he poses. And, and in this case, I think it was, you know, it was worth a, a video response to the four hour work week. So what I'd like to know is what do people think about the four hour work week? And I'd like to open up a much larger discussion about it. So 